What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Blake Francis' uh, decision to declare for the NBA draft. That's three of the spiders uh, that are all declaring. I'm super excited for all of them. Uh, especially for Blake, man, this is a kid that, this was his first year at Richmond, was just transferring from another school, and I'm sure, you know, when you're transferring, you're not sure how things are going to go, you know, will you fit with the team, will you, you know, still have the same opportunities to shine like you, you did at your previous place, and uh, this just has to be a gratifying moment for him to make him feel like his decision was the right decision coming to Richmond. They had a great team this year and is now getting the chance to showcase his talents in front of NBA scouts, which I'm sure it's always been a dream of his. So shout out to Blake for that. Um, but just like we did for Grant and Jacob, uh, we're going to be talking about Blake's transition into the NBA, kind of what scouts are going to be looking for and hoping to see. Uh, with Blake, it all just kind of starts with his, his scoring ability. This is a guy that kind of reminds me, and I know it's an easy comparison, lefty, smaller guard, but, you know, the Isaiah Thomas, I just look at his his jump shot and the lift he gets on his shot. Uh, so he's able to, to make shots off the dribble. Obviously, he's, you know, a great three-point shooter, great pull-up jumper. Uh, similar things that Isaiah Thomas has, and so they're going to be looking for just that ability to continue to create shots and make shots from the perimeter, which we all know that Blake can do that very well uh, and at a high level. Uh, led the Spiders in scoring this year, and just a, a complete buck, and no one can really stop him from, from getting his shots. So uh, that's going to be what the scouts are going to love about him, just a, a guy that can come in and be instant offense, you know, uh, whatever role he's in, he's going to be a guy that's going to be relied upon to, to hit shots from the perimeter and, and just create shots for the team out there on the floor man Blake is just a super tough competitor man so I know that that you know it's gonna be something he carries over at the next level and just through the workout showing teams uh, his energy on, on both ends of the floor his never quit attitude um, but the scouts are going to be also looking for uh, just his ability to to make plays for others out of the pick and roll and things like that I can imagine Blake uh, being a lot of getting a lot of pick and rolls at the next level and and he's shown that at Richmond that he can he can make plays you know when he's driving or in pick and roll and that's just going to be something they're going to want to continue to see his scoring gets a lot of attention because he is so good at just creating shots from the perimeter for himself uh, but he can definitely you know find guys out on the perimeter or you know like I said find a great pick and roll partner that that matches his abilities and what he wants to do out there on the floor and I could definitely see Blake you know finding the role you know at the next level well, again, you just got to find where, where you're going to fit. I think Blake as a scorer uh, is going to be able to, to get up, get some buckets and, and really fit nicely, you know, in the NBA. Again, I'm just really excited for for him. Uh, it's got to, like I said, he's got to feel really good about his decision coming to Richmond and getting an opportunity like this, uh, a chance to perform in front of NBA scouts and improve his game, uh, get some feedback and just come back a better overall player. I think for Blake, Jacob and Grant, you know, just whatever feedback they get, I can see them carrying it over to the season and just making the spiders better because of it. Um, but thank you for watching this video. Uh, super proud of all the spiders and uh, check out my other uh, reviews about Grant and Jacob as well. And uh, thanks for watching.